Hey guys, what's up? Uh, welcome back to the MB tutorials uh, I am doing through all these uh, videos. Um, in this video, I want to tackle um, the topic of adding uh, your first uh, user. Um, I'm not talking about the very first user that we had before in the last videos because it was like a superpower admin, you know? It was like the first one that has uh, all the administration rights in 2NB. I'm talking about the fact that I want to give access, I don't know, to my sister or something like that, okay? So you're going, guess what? You're going to manage NB server. You go on users. As you can see, I am the only user of this server. Uh, so I will click on users here. And uh, <laughs> let's go for my browser, you know. So I will I will give access to my browser brother um, directly here. As I explained before, um, this user can have an NB Connect username. Username. Uh, so basically, you have to go on the website, NB website, uh, and you have to create an online account. Um, so your user will be able to connect easily from outside, okay? Uh, so you can do that if you want. But we're going the hard way, and I will show you how to give access from outside to your different users uh, through the video that I will make for the network uh, stuff, okay? Um, if, you, if you trust your browser, your brother, um, you can give him access to manage the server, but be careful because managing the server is, is giving you a lot of access uh, to MB. And finally, you can define if you want to give access to all libraries or just some libraries, so it will be able to, to see the one you checked here, okay? Um, I will say that I trust enough my uh, brother to give him access to all my libraries, but not to give him access, uh, all the accesses he needs to manage the server, okay? We're in this kind of situation, okay? Here, after that, you will have access to more and more, more, more uh, settings. So, the first one here, okay, I, I already covered this one. The first one here is like, do you want to allow this user to remotely access your NB server? So basically from outside. Um, if it's like, um, if it's like your brother, brother, sorry. If it's like your brother, brother and uh, he lives uh, in, directly into your house, uh, I would say it's not, it's not an issue to uncheck, to uncheck that because it doesn't need to access from outside, you know. If your browser is saying, ah, sometimes I want to access from, uh, I don't know, coffee or Starbucks or whatever, maybe you want to check that, okay? But it depends on your needs. Allow this user to manage the server, it's already covered. Um, you have different feature that you can give to, uh, your, to, to my brother in that case. You can give him the ability to the capacity to uh, live TV access, to live TV recording management. Um, you have the, the capacity to say, um, yeah, because MB is like also a DVR, something something that you can use to record all the emissions uh, from the cable, okay? Um, you have also the possibility to change the media playback settings here. So you want to allow the media playback. If you uncheck that, Everything is done. The guy won't be able to play anything. Um, you can allow audio playback that requires transcoding. We will see in the future video that, uh, that what is exactly the transcoding versus the direct stream versus the direct play. Um, allow video playback that requires transcoding. So it's like the same as audio, but for video. And uh, conversion without transcoding is like the direct stream, okay? Uh, you can specify uh, max simultaneous video streams. Uh, so 
when you are creating an account, this account will be able to access from all the devices of the world, excepting if you are uh, saying that it, it won't it won't be the case. Okay. If you are allowing a user, if I am allow, allowing my brother to um, to access from different devices, maybe I want to say I I want him to be able to stream from two devices maximum. Okay, so it's very important to to say that. In my case, uh, I am a good guy, so I will say unlimited. For the internet streaming. Uh, betrayed limit. If you are allowing, if I want to allow my brother to um, to play from outside, it will take bandwidth. This bandwidth is not uh, cost free. You know, uh, if you're lucky, you have a very good bandwidth, like four four hundred um, megabits, something like that. But it's not the case for everyone. Some people are stuck at 10, 15, something like that. So maybe you want to say, um, for my brother, I will say 5 megabits. But uh, what is important to understand here, and I am sorry because I, I, I think the video that I will make to explain the transcoding versus the streaming, etc., will, will give you more hint on that. But you have to be careful because um, saying saying that uh, you want a five uh, megabit second, if you have a video uh, that is played by your brother uh, from outside, and the video is like eight megabit second, you will be in trouble uh, concerning your CPU because it may result in increased CPU load because the video will have a higher bit rate that that the, the, the stream is authorized to use. So basically, your server will have to transcode on the fly the video, and it will be CPU intensive. So I will say, no, I don't have any internet streaming limit. In my case, it's enough. Um, you can allow the user to delete uh, media, your choice. Uh, honestly, I don't think it's a good, it's a very good idea, but your choice, if you trust your brother. Um, remote control, uh, so you can say remote control of other users. What it means is that your brother will be able to uh, control all the other users, uh, no matter if they are uh, outside, inside, or whatever. So you, you will have access to all devices and will be able for instance, um, uh, on my on my MB theater directly on my computer, my brother will be able to launch any media he wants. So I don't want that because he, he can do some jokes. So no. Um, and allow remote control of shared devices. It's uh, mainly the DLNA devices. Uh, so honestly. It doesn't matter on, on that side because I'm not using DNA devices, but if you are using, it could be an issue. So, so maybe uncheck that. Um, for the download, yeah. Uh, what you have to know is that NB clients are able to locally download on the clients uh, the video to have a smoother playback. If like the bandwidth is not good or whatever. So they can ask on the device, on the client device, download the movie in advance, so I will be able to watch it correctly. So, yeah, you can define that here. Um, the subtitle, you can uh, say that this user is able to download subtitle or delete subtitles. Okay, it's linked to open, open subtitle, the option we saw before. So allow media conversion, grant uh, the media conversion. So, uh, you have the option in NB to convert media. Also, it's like, it's not exactly the same as downloading. It's like converting media to be able to watch it smoother also, but it's like uh, they can convert from the original bitrate to another bitrate. Allow social media sharing if you want your user to be able to, 
to share the information concerning your server on Facebook if it's like if it's like a public server or something like that. Um, allow this user to change their password and profile image. I will show you what it means. But yeah, definitely you will want that. Um, disable this user if you want to temporarily disable it. Hide this user from login screens on the local network. And the same here when he's connected remotely. Um, so you want to have the more security as possible. By default, MB is doing that very perfectly because it's saying that you want to, to hide this user from login screens when someone is connecting remotely. So anyone who is connecting to your server won't see that there is an account called by browser accessible from outside. So it won't have any, any clue that there is this account. So it won't have the, the it, it, it will have like very hard time to find the, the account because it's not displayed, you know? Okay. Uh, you can edit the user profile. You have, so all, all this stuff here I am displaying is the stuff that you can access as a user, uh, as a MB user, okay? So if I, if I were my browser, I am connecting, I'm just going here on settings and I'm going, and I will fall directly here, okay? But I want to manage my brother because I am like a super powerful user of my MB server. So I am able to manage my brother user profile uh, directly. So I can change the date time, the theme. It's like supposed to be dark, but right now it's using Halloween. Uh, so I am allowing, uh, allowing automatic seasonal themes, the backdrops, displaying, so enable the theme songs, theme videos, and displaying missing episodes. Uh, so basically, if you are not, if you don't have all the episodes in a specific TV show, it will display anyway. The home screen, uh, so it's everything here to customize uh, when you are going on the home screen, what you want to appear first and after and whatever. You can have the library order or so. So I want like the TV show. I want the TV show before or after movies or whatever. Uh, I can give a specific behavior uh, for the movies like displaying in the home screen sections uh, such as last media and watching continue. Um, I want that personally, but it's like whatever you want. Uh, the default screen when I am going to movies and TV shows is like suggestions, but it's uh, it's a, it's a matter of uh, of taste at this point. So you just have to check whatever you want. Um, and personally, but it's my personal opinion, it, it's very powerful because we have the option. Um, I don't want to hide to hide watched content from latest media because sometimes I am very happy to watch again something, a movie or a TV show. For the playback, um, you can change the default audio language. If you are not like Anglophone, you can put Chinese, uh, Japanese or whatever. You can say play default audio track regardless of language. If I am a Japanese, I won't do that because sometimes the default audio track uh, on the movies are English, so I don't want to do that. Uh, you want to play next episode automatically on a TV show and enable next info during playback. So it will uh, show a pop-up saying, hey, the next episode will be that, uh, showing the description. Do you want to play that right away? And it will, and you will be able to say yes or not. Uh, the are you still watching prompt is very important, especially if you are watching um, things uh, in the evening and if you are uh, like falling asleep uh, it could be interesting also um, it will it will periodically prompt uh, you uh, saying hey are you still alive or are you sleeping and uh, you will have to say yeah, i'm not sleeping i am here so it's uh, it's a good it's a good option and the skip forward uh, lens and the skip back lens you can define whatever you want here. It's uh, more for the playback in the OSD. 
uh, the subtitles is like the same, the, the language you want, the default subtitle modes. Personally, I am using only four subtitles because I don't want like the subtitles to be displayed right away, but it's your choice. The subtitle appearance, you can change the size and everything here, the shadow or whatever. My profile, if you want to have a specific uh, image, you can upload an image here. So it's great. You can change your password and you can sign out. Yeah. Um, so it was like the user's profile, image and personal preferences. For the access, now, for the access, you can change the library access as uh, I showed you, and you can specifically change by directory if you have different directory. So it's very, it's very interesting here. The device access, uh, it's the same here. You will have a list. I have only one uh, device listed here, but you will have a list of the different um, devices available and you will say, eh, I don't want you to have access for from that, from there, you know. So it's very powerful because you can also say, I want my brother to have access only from his iPhone and he will have access only from his iPhone. The parental control, especially if you have kids, basically if you have kids, um, you can say the maximum allowed here is that. Uh, I want to block items uh, where I have no rating information coming from the internet for this kind of content. Uh, you can restrict also, you can say, uh, I just want to allow this item with these tags. So we, we will, you will be able to put tags directly on the different content and items you have. If you want like your kid to be able to watch only um, the move, the, the cartoon uh, dinosaur, uh, you will put the tag Kid, for instance, like something like that, you know. Kid. Um, although only items with these tags, you go on your dinosaur item, you put the tag kid, and your kid with the, his account, account will be able to see only dinosaur. But we don't want that because it's my brother, and my brother is like older. Um, and you have an access schedule, so you can say, okay, um, I want uh, my brother to be able to access only on uh, Sunday and um, and Saturday, so you can say that, and uh, from 8 a.m. to, or only during the night or something like that. It's It's all customizable. And here you can change the password. You can define a new password. Because I am a super user, super powerful user, I can put a new password and a new password confirm here. So it will change the password of my brother account. <coughs> so I think that's all. That's it, that's all. Um, I covered all the, the settings here. Um, I will show you in the next video tutorial for NB. Uh, it will be more uh, a schema um, just to make you understand how MB is managing the streaming part, especially when you are outside. It could be inside, but inside usually you, you don't have all the constraints uh, that you can have from outside. Um, so I will show you that and uh, you will be able to understand the concepts of direct playing, direct streaming or um, transcoding also. So I hope you liked this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I have a lot of stuff coming again. And uh, I see you in the next video. Thank you very much.